In this video, I'm going to go over the mechanism for the desulfonation of benzene sulfonic acid, and that's done by adding a catalytic amount of acid in water and by heating the mixture. And um, since this reaction is basically just the reverse of a EAS reaction, to uh, figure out what the first step in this mechanism is going to be, we can just consider what the last step, uh, not counting any proton transfers of an EAS mechanism is. And in that last step, what you have is a, uh, a base comes in, and it removes a proton from the uh, that's in a bond with the carbon that's attached to the group that you just added, and then you have the electrons from that bond with the proton come down to reform aromaticity. So um, the reverse of that would be if we had an acid come in and uh, add a proton to this carbon and uh, form a carbocation. So that's what we're going to do. And the acid I'm going to use is the hydronium atom because we're doing this reaction in uh, dilute acid and water. So what we're going to have is this uh, pi bond is going to come in and take this proton. And that's going to form our carbocation. And here is the, uh, the hydrogen or the proton that we just took. So we should draw those double bonds too. And here's the sulfonic acid group that we are trying to remove. So at this point, uh, we disrupted aromaticity, so the driving force at this intermediate is going to be to reform it. So we basically have two options. We can either take the electrons from the uh, proton and bring them down, but that would just take us back to the starting material. So what we're going to do is take the electrons that are in this bond with the sulfur and bring them down to reform aromaticity. And that would put a, a positive charge on the sulfur. So what we're going to do is take uh, one of these lone pairs from the oxygen, bring them down to form a double bond. But that would then put a positive charge on this oxygen. So just to take care of all the uh, charges at once, I'm going to use water to then act as a base and take this one proton off the oxygen. So we have all our charges done in one step. And that gives us what we want. We get our benzene and the other product is sulfur trioxide. And we also reform the acid catalyst. And I guess it's worth noting that sulfur trioxide is then going to react with the water that we're doing this reaction in to give sulfuric acid that's a very uh, fast and exothermic reaction, so we're going to be using up uh, the pro one of the products here, and that's going to help drive this reaction towards benzene and remove all the uh, sulfonic acid groups. And that's the mechanism for this reaction.